Not a chance. So I can put something there. Now what do I do to it? Can I smash it? I think my second knife... No, I still have two knives, which is great. Well, she seems to know what she's doing, so I'll just leave Kate to do that. Quarter part of blue resin. Okay. Apparently I don't need the rest of it. Fuck you, rest of blue resin. There was some moss there. Can I use it? They're damp from being outside. Well, I don't need them. I don't need you, moss. Alright, time to figure out this. This. Are you gonna help, Kirk? I mean, a little help would, would be very appreciated. Okay. Okay. Do I have any indicator of what I'm supposed to achieve? Some color scheme or something? Huh. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, oh, the other one was empty. Uh, not empty, but open. The third one. Oh, I, again, I always forget that I can turn around, but I have to zoom in for this. Whoa, the, ooh, hey. That zooming around thing just makes me nauseous. <laughs> Shout out to everyone who has motion sickness. It's not fun. Do not move us. Too much. Does that mean I have to check all the front ones as well for hidden things? God damn. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I already did that. Oh, uh, these I have to check, though. Open up. Aha! Gimme. And gimme. So these are probably gonna get melted or at some point. But I need to make a fire first. Nothing in there, I don't think. Nope. Aha! More things. Gimme, gimme. That resin must be 20 years old. So I've taken, I think, all of the things that would require taking. Anything in the back? No, that just takes me to the front again. I did pick- what the hell? I picked these up, didn't I? Why are they still there? Hold on. I have them in my inventory. Why are they, they still there? Oh, this game. But I can use something here. Okay. Ooh. A log. Maybe this is where I make a Zephyr. And I have a lighter. It's not catching. I need something to get the fire going. I do have customs papers. There we go. And we have fire. The fire was roaring. Still don't know what I'm looking for. The fire is out. Okay. Maybe I need to keep this open. To keep a watch on that pesky fire. Is there anything hidden in these weird 3D angles? Not that I can see. And the fire just goes out. Stay lit, fire. Now, I imagine we need some of that sawdust in here, because this has to light up nicely. Cool. Please let me fill up these trays with the sawdust that I have, and I, I don't want to go back and forth and pick up more sawdust. Oh, thank you. No, just close it. That's not very nice. 
Okay. Cool. So what now? Can I use her staff on this? Because I need a magical solution. Nope. Funnel. I imagine the funnels go on top, but I don't know what order. Can I use the staff here? In this view? Come on, spirits, don't fail me now. Oh, I, I did use it. Hey, there's the clue. Okay, red spinny thing. It's time to take a photo. Okay, so this is the funnel order. How can I place the funnels? Oh, they go in- yeah, okay, they go in here. So this one will have the red resin, as I understood it, and it needs a spinny funnel. I have this one? Funnel one? Cool, now we close it. The next one- well, the next two are- no, the next one. I need something snake- snake-shaped. Which looks like this. This also looks like a spinny thing. Hmm. Alright. I might have to replace it with the first one. And the other one is a circle. I should have inspected the funnels before placing them. What do you look like? Okay, you're a circle. That's good. You go in here. So now we've placed the funnels, and now we have an indicator of color. Red. Did I have any red resin? So there's a opening there, but there's an opening here. What does that mean? Hmm. Oh, I can place things in here. So there's an opening on the right, right hand side, the lower right. So I'm gonna place some red resin there. Cool. So this has an opening here, but that's just gonna go through. Huh. So what do, what do I do exactly? I can't place anything while in this view, so it has to go here. I don't know, where should I place it? Nowhere. Put her there. This one was also blue. Okay. This one is also problematic. Place it. What else do I have? I have two pieces of yellow resin, and that's about it. All right. How about I place them both here for good measure? Cool. Well, at least the fire didn't go out again. It's good. Oh, and there's smoke coming out, finally. I think... I think everything is correct, right? Oh no, the second one needs to have blue smoke in. Not white. We need to place it somewhere else. Where do we need to place it? Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Will this do it? God damn, no. Okay, now it looks like blue smoke. This should work. Okay, now that's blue. But 
the okay, the last one is white. It should be yellow. So maybe we don't need two pieces. We just move this to another spot. This one. No, it still doesn't look like yellow smoke. Maybe an extra part. No. It's not yellow. the Watcher's blessing for the crossing. Thank you, Kate Walker. On behalf of the entire tribe, a thousand thank yous. There's one problem. Without the customs officer, there's no one left to work the bridge, and... I have the solution, Kate Walker. It looks like someone will have to stay on this bank so the others can cross. And I'm clearly the one to do that. No, Oscar. Not again. Kate Walker, once you find yourself safely across with the tribe, just use the zip line that I saw you enjoying yourself with a short time ago to bring me across in turn. No. We'll swap roles. I'll get you across first, and then I'll cross with the zip line. Your concern serves no purpose, Kate Walker. And... The soldiers. We have to go. Oscar! Kate Walker! We need help, quick! over now, Kate Walker. Well, Miss Walker. Very well. You've won, I suppose.
Miss Walker. Please take advantage of the trip to relax. We will have plenty of time to chat when we get there. All the time we need. Well, that was depressing as hell. Way to bring it to realistic and not happy ending, guys. So, Kate is captured and then returns to a life of imprisonment, probably, and Oscar dies. But the Yukols get, get what they wanted, and they're gonna have to go back eventually. Well, this was incredibly depressing. I can't say that I expected that ending, but holy hell. At least all of our efforts weren't in vain, but poor Oscar and Kate. So all in all, do I consider Siberia 3 a good game? No, not really. The bad guys didn't really have any cause. They were not present for probably three quarters of the game. The whole game gave me the feeling that I was just waiting for it to start, when it ended, that way. Would I play this game again? Probably not. And also, it had a lot of bugs, it had a lot of issues, that it went through three major updates just as I was playing it. Some people were asking me, like, oh, wh why did you decide to play Siberia 3? Because I am a fan of the of the series, I loved the first two games, and I could have never passed up playing the third one. I've been waiting for it for years, and I'm happy that I played it. I really liked Kate and the way she looked and the way she talked, but most of the other characters were downright cheesy and annoying most of the time. Like that sassy owl, what was up with that? And Oscar's voice and involvement in this game really... Hmm. It didn't strike me as very Oscar-esque, and he had such a predominant presence in the first two games that they just kind of added him for fan service, because Oscar. I don't know, if you're a fan of the series, yes, play it, just for completionistic sake, just to have the complete set. But for someone that is just starting out with this game, you will not like it, you will not understand it, it doesn't have a strong story. I just played it because... How could I not? How? Oh, what a sad ending. That made me so depressed. Oh, and the reason the ending for the smoke signal is kind of missing is because I wasn't recording it at the end. I just didn't realize you could move the bottom trays. And that's how I got the, the yellow smoke. So sorry about that. I tried to re-record it, but it would just take me to the end cutscene. And I would have had to play the whole game all over again just to get that one piece that was missing. Will there be a Siberia 4? I really don't know. I would like to know what happens to Kate and Oscar, but I don't think there's gonna be a Siberia 4 after this. Which makes me sad. But also, I wouldn't want a Siberia 4 that has such a shaky story again. Downright comical villains. Goodbye, Kate. I hope you don't spend all your life in, in a prison wrongfully accused. And for the love of God, do not spend as much as I did on this game. It's not worth the full, what was it, 50 euros or something. Just wait for it to go on sale. If you really want to play it, just wait until it's, you know, more affordable. But it was just ludicrous how expensive it was. And it was so buggy. That's all I have to say about Siberia 3. Thank you so much for watching. I've been the Zembear. I'll see you in the next game.